Hey, this is Dave and Rich again from housebearings.com. Today we're going to show you how a house is built from scratch. Walls. It all matters. We're going to go from an empty lot to the finished product and show you all the steps in between to give you an idea of what it really is uh, that you're living in. And uh, once you see all the steps, it might give you a little better chance of when you take on a project to know what you're facing and what's behind the wall that you're working on. All right, so this is how it all begins. You're at an empty lot. And as you can see, they, they don't have much here at all. And your utilities have already been marked. The orange is cable, the red is electric, and they both run in line from lot to lot. And then the yellow is gas. And typically your water's marked in blue, and there's the water meter. I mean, that's couldn't get any more plain than that. And uh, the, what's left for them to get started is to, to scrape this lot and to mark it for the foundation. Uh, they've already scraped the, the land, and they, you can see they've got the corner stakes for the, for the house that's going to be going in. The work has begun. They've thrown down some larger size, uh, number two gravel that's like the size of your fist, uh, just for an entryway so they don't track so much mud around. And later on, they'll put uh, a smaller gravel over this when they get ready to pour the driveway. Uh, they've already laid out the foundation. This is where the your 2 by 4s your framing is going to be placed. And this is where your bricks are going to rest. It's all resting on the foundation itself. Uh, all right, the main system that we have in the house right now is plumbing. And all these verticals, the white verticals, are linked to a sink or to a toilet. The far side, it's kind of high up in the air. I mean, it's almost touching the ground. So you, there's a, they, when the plumbers put this in, there's a natural downhill flow to it. Uh, here you go, your, your pecs. This used to be, back in the old days, it would all be copper. And obviously red is for hot water, uh, blue is for cold and they have ma already mapped out for the floor plan where they are bringing cold water or hot water or both to whatever fixture there, there might be. And they'll cover this in gravel and then this whole area will be covered in concrete. And most garages should either have a slope that goes out the door or it should have a center drain. And this right here, this odd thing, is called a clean out. Your plumbing is coming this way towards the street and it passes underneath here. And this is a place where a plumber can get access from the exterior of the house if you ever had a plumbing issue. All right, so here we have a house that's in the stage of being framed and you can see it just looks like a lot of sticks. And the whole goal is to provide a, a structure that's going to carry the roof and carry the uh, the siding and all of, and all the interior drywall and plumbing and all that you need that supporting structure and so it usually starts with two by fours or two by sixes which is the thickness of the wood and those are placed vertically with headers over them and uh, headers over the windows and doors to, to span that space and carry the load uh, but before you can wrap the house before you can put the, the shingles on the roof or the siding on the house you got to have the, the main skeleton and that's the framing of the house all right so this house here has already been framed and now you can see they've got the OSB or the chipboard or the plywood on the walls on the exterior walls and it kind of gives you an idea of how the house is being constructed um, but let's go inside and take a look all right, when you walk in, you can see uh, above what we have, there's two ways of doing a roof. You can, you can have it done uh, framed without trusses or with, and these are trusses. Even, those, even, even though those are only two by fours, because of the webbing structure of it, they're very strong. Here you have, we have a huge opening for a two-car garage door. And so what they have up here is a, a laminated beam, or glue lamb, or LVL. And uh, these are, these are um, boards that are glued one next to each other. And it's an engineered piece of lumber, and it is very strong. And you need this so that you can go all the way across this opening and it not deflect, it not deform and sag down. Right here. It's 16 inches on center from the center of this board to the center of this board. 
And inside this is going to go your insulation. And all your exterior walls are going to have insulation in, in them. And this particular, this is a real obvious indication of a load bearing wall. You have three LVLs or glue lamb beams that are supporting this upstairs, probably an upstairs bedroom. And you can see this right here, if you were to cut this, say you were going to do a DIY project, you're like, oh, we don't need that. We just cut it. This whole thing would come in, this whole thing would end up collapsing. You can see how, you know, they've got these, these uh, big windows here, kind of a small header because you've got these supports in between each window, whereas here you have a big open window and you can see the header gets bigger, you know, per the engineer's instructions because now you've got this big open gap. But that's the beauty of the lumber and the engineering that goes into framing a house. Um, it all matters. All those size dimensions matter. And uh, that's why you have an architect drawing your plans up for uh, a well-built house. You have our, our front porch set up right here. And you can see how spindly. They just have uh, a couple two-by-fours in the opposite directions holding everything up and then support it that way. Once it's all built, then what here's what they do is they put these big beefy columns here, which are nothing more than a a four by four with some other framing around it and then wrapped in the skin. And that's gonna be the, the support for this pretty porch. All right, you can see in this house, uh, the window's in, the house is completely wrapped and the underlayment is on the roof. Um, what you have here, there's two different kinds of roofing material. Uh, the bottom part, the bottom three feet is called ice shield um, or water and ice shield. And they put that on the, the bottom layer to prevent ice damming and to prevent ice dam damage to your roof. Uh, and then above that is just a, they, they used to use tar paper, now they have all kinds of different wraps that is for underlayment prior to putting the shingles on. And that house distance, you can see they've already got the shingles on the top of the roof. They're preparing to put the shingles on. And then over here on this side, they've already plumbed in this shower tubs surround so you can see it's starting to take on a life of its own as more and more things get put in place here you get your laundry box your utility box your hot and cold for your washer dryer and the drain and then here's your dryer box and so you the the hose the exhaust hose from the dryer is going to go here and that's vented up and out here's your here's your uh, kitchen island plumbing you know, when you first looked at it, when it's all sticking out of the ground in the foundation, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but now it's starting to find its individual spot. All right, here, here you have your a shower pan in, and I'm not sure if they're going to get tie, they're going to tile this, but this will have a cement board all the way around it or some kind of waterproof board. And then here's your shower valve that's already been plumbed in and it's awaiting its finish. And here, this is for your shower head, and eventually they're going to take this off and put in a shower head into this that'll, that'll stick out. All right, so here you can see they've already got the, the furnace in this house, and a lot of the, this is the plumbing for your hot water heater. Here's the, the furnace, and as you look up, you can see how all the ducting spiders out from the furnace to each individual room. Uh, to the vents in each room so that uh, hot air and cool air can be carried so that the rooms would be correctly conditioned. And eventually above us then there'll be a ceiling and this will all be covered in some kind of insulation that's blown in probably. Looks like this is going to be a, a double-sided fireplace. You have a great room here and then an opening and that looks like to be a dining room. So that's unusual feature. When they put windows in, uh, the, what they're doing is taking this, this vapor wrap around the edges and then this is a water waterproof membrane and they'll put caulk on, oh they did put caulk on there and then they'll place the windows in. As you can see this one's already been placed in and then they caulk around that groove to keep it airtight. On the exterior of the window they put this, uh, this is like a tape flashing. And again, this, this is uh, for waterproof purposes. And then your siding is gonna end up snugging behind. Uh, so there's a groove there that your siding will end up going in. And then they'll still caulk that again. So you can see this, this window is uh, in and done and ready to go. 
right, so here you can see the garage door, and it's basically just these tracks and that spring system and your door. All right, here's the temporary electric meter. It's just the wire on a post, and then once the house is done, this meter will end up being attached to the house. And you can see here the electrics are even run to the boxes, and they spray foam the, the uh, holes so that you don't get a lot of air intrusion. And then all the wires are run, and each of these will be switches. You can see through the whole house, all the boxes are run. So it gets to be quite a spaghetti factory of wires and boxes. The fire cock right there to keep passages that go into your attic space sealed. And all of these lines run to the electric panel, your main breaker box, usually in the garage or basement. Here's your electric panel. That spaghetti factory of wires that, that we saw up above, they all come popping in through here to their specific breaker. And that's faced bat insulation. Face just means the paper is on the face of it. All right, here is the gas fireplace that's just being installed. It's already wired for TV and the power for the TV above it. You can see the gas lines. All right, so this is your siding that's getting ready to go on. And it's hardy plank. You can see it right there. Uh, it's a wood chipboard mixed with a texture and finish on the outside. And there's the brick that's going to be going on that shelf that we showed you earlier. Here's the shelf on the foundation that the brick is going to rest on and come up. On those gables, the decorative ornamental siding going on as well as the regular siding. Here you can see the layers. This is your frame two by four and then you have drywall inside this wall and drywall inside this wall. Yeah, this is the pretty typical wall section of any house. All right, once all the final finishes are done, uh, they put in a yard. Uh, typically you would get a sod yard on your front, then you're gonna get a planted seeded yard for the rest of it. And that'll just take uh, an extra few months to come in. And then last bit is the final landscaping. And you can see this house here is kind of the finished product. And that is the final result of all the effort that goes into building a house. I hope this video helps you get an idea of what it's like to have a house built from scratch and all the pieces and parts that go into it. Um, now the next time when you're working in your house you might have a, a little bit better understanding of what you're working on and hopefully it won't be as, as uh, intimidating or scary. If this video helped you understand the whole uh, house building process or what the house is that you actually are living in, uh, give us a thumbs up. We'd, we'd appreciate it. It's our goal to help make things understandable, and we hope that this, this video has accomplished that for you. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and thanks for viewing.